All right, we have a lot to do today, and I have to warn you, we're not gonna get done today. So, you know, if we're here to see the final result, bad news, we're not gonna get done today, but we're gonna get a lot done. Whoa, what's up guys? Welcome to the vlog game match here as always. Thanks so much for watching. If you're here for the first time, smash that subscribe button and also give me a thumbs up. So today we're gonna put apart the Corvette, yeah. It's not put apart, it's just because we, you know, you guys know, we're gonna replace the seats. They are chilling over there, and here are the brackets. And the reason why I didn't put the seats yet, is because I have a lot to do inside, and I'll tell you what it is right now. First thing we're gonna do, I'm gonna replace my seat belts. Yes, we are getting red seat belts. And since I have to remove the, the seat, I was like, I'm not gonna put the new seats and then remove the seat belts. So what I'm gonna do today, we're gonna remove this seat. The seat's gonna be completely out. And since I'm gonna have a lot of room, I'm gonna do a detailing inside. And also we're gonna remove the seat belts and send out to get fixed it because in my, actually, my driver's seat belt, it's really, really bad shape. So, but before, I'm gonna do like a montage of how it is now, so we can compare when it's done. Let's get that montage. So tell me the truth, tell me the truth, I Very simple. There are two plastic uh, covers, I believe. Yeah, it's just a pin here, you see? You can remove that with those plastic train removable tools. Whatever you have, you can also use a screwdriver, I believe. And then underneath of that, we have a 15 millimeter. That's what I'm gonna use to remove those. Dude, here's my plan, right? I'm gonna remove everything from this side, and then I'm gonna turn the car around because I want to have the driver's seat on this way when we don't have seats anymore because then we cannot drive. I mean, I still can move the car even without seats, but I just want to have the car going backwards in the garage, if that makes sense, right? <laughs> See, it's like, it's a plastic cover that I hope I can use on the carbo seat. So I'm gonna be really careful with those. Those two 15 millimeters are out. Very easy. If that plastic piece is not here, you're gonna have like a huge hole. So you gotta figure out what to do. Uh, I'm not gonna worry about this now. I think those plastic covers should be fine for when we put the carbos one. But we'll see. So let's do the back. Should be the same process, but without the covers, should be easier. <laughs> So one thing I noticed, of course, we need to remove the seat belt. Uh, but you see, there's almost no space and there, there's one bolt over here. I'm gonna, you know, get rid of those two bolts. And then like when we flip the seat over like this, should be easier to remove that part of the seat belt. Like, let's give it a try. If it doesn't work, I'll let you guys know. You guys probably gonna see it. So let's see. <laughs> See, that's the seat belt and we have a bolt right there. I think it's just easier to do what I'm doing here. The only thing I need to do now, I'm gonna cover here. I don't wanna scratch anything. So I'm gonna cover here too, so it's easier. But I, I believe it's the same 15 millimeter. You just need to disconnect those plugs. Just don't forget those. <laughs> 
one thing it's very important that this plug here it's going to that plug which I believe you know warn you when the seats are on or not like when the seat belts are uh, plugging in or not so uh, I just need to figure out to how to remove this from this seat going to the new seats that's gonna be a challenge but <laughs> This plug here is very straightforward, don't push too hard. And this one here has uh, a latch. And I'm saying that you just like pull, I'll show you. See it's like, you know, it's like, it's locked by this here. And if you pushed, if you push this black one to the side like this, it should be really easy to install. The challenge here would be, see that part here? That goes to the seat belt. So I don't know if I have to remove the entire thing and put on the corbel, uh, but I'm not gonna worry about this right now. What I wanted to do, I wanna first remove the seat belts and then I'll worry about this later. But if you guys know, let me know what, sh what I should do. Now, let's go to the seat belt. I believe we gotta remove all this trim here and I hope we don't need to remove anything from here to the hollow. But I think for this panel here, it's just one panel, see? And this panel here for sure. So it's gonna be three panels out for sure. I removed the hollow one, the, the one that goes here. Do I think I have enough space to come here and take that is that bolt which I believe is a 15 millimeter and that one on the bottom there so I have room for it so I don't want to bother you know removing more stuff that I needed so this stuff here is staying in the car for now I don't need those and now let me remove the seat belt itself for the seat belt itself you use a T55 uh, and it should come right off Okay, one out. There we go. Coming off. Just careful, put it through there. There, there we go. So far, not bad at all. Uh, my only concern so far is with the seat belt and with this thing here. As far as I can see, I cannot remove it and I don't know if they can break it to replace the seat belt itself because we're gonna do seat, red seat belt. But this is not my problem, I will send everything to them. Uh, you have like, you know, it's really hard to miss which one, which one uh, because this one is right and the other one is left. But what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna turn the car around and then we're gonna do the same thing for the, the driver's side. at all at all just you know be careful with the clips and I have the airbag light which probably makes sense because nothing is connected but we're gonna fix that when we put everything back together but I should should have the same process going on I think just for the driver's side because we have power seats right and we're not gonna have that anymore that's one downsize of upgrade your seats but I definitely need that look at that Look at that. So that's, and you probably have more harness underneath. Uh, but we'll see, we'll see. Before we go further, fun fact on this bolt right here. When I got the car second day, this one right here was getting loosed. So I'll put a clip here. 1500 miles. You ready? Let's do it. Well, first problem, before, even before we leave, the seat belt fell off. I'll try to. I don't have any tools on me though. You Let's guys, stop at a Home Depot or something. We, we guys know we're gonna have a lot of stuff to do with this car. Yeah, that's funny. Second day with the car, so 
it's definitely time for a change. What's up, buddy? What's up, man? How are you? Good, how are you? Good, sorry to bother you, though. Oh, no worries, man. You're not bothering me. I just... What's up? I mean, maybe I need your help. The question is very simple. Did you have anything like that when you did your car? Uh, I had a couple plugs on my factory seats, my stock seats that I plugged. And uh, on a C5, at least, you didn't have to plug anything back in and there were no lights or anything. Gotcha. So are you getting like a seatbelt light coming on? Yeah. Everything is out of the car. The only thing, you know, it's a little different from the C5 to the C6. And you saw that I was on a call with my buddy, Scott, because he has the same seats on his C5, but he doesn't have that issue. The seat belt connection, we can remove from the old seats to the new seats with no problem. For the airbag, uh, or either we can uh, buy some connectors that is gonna tell the car that you know the seat belts are in for the airbag solution or we can try to transfer those to here i would try to figure it out i, I wasn't expecting this challenge is you know every time you're doing something you always need to expect some kind of challenge but i, I have time because the seat belts are going out tomorrow and meanwhile i'm gonna do my research can know exactly what to do uh, I just reading by the forums and stuff. Some people just leave the the lights on all the time. They don't really care. Uh, but I, I don't want any lights on my dash. So it's gonna be a challenge. So let's figure out together. Before we go ahead and worry about this, let's do step by step. I'm gonna send out this my seat belts to get fixed, it, place, and get a new collar on. Those are going out tomorrow. So they say two days turn around i don't believe i think it's gonna take a week so meanwhile since the car is open what i'm gonna do i'm gonna install the new mirrors because i gotta remove the door panels and get underneath to hook up some stuff yeah but for now i hope you guys enjoyed this upload subscribe so you can see what's gonna be the final product i don't know how long it's gonna take i'll try my best to do it as soon as i can all right i hope to see you guys next upload as always enjoy your life and work hard for it